Hi guys, today's video is about the hip action. Um, I mean, this is a big subject and I think there is not only one way how you actually work the swing with your hip action. And on the other hand, you also have to consider um, that what you see on tour and you see or you hear from, from the best coaches in the world on YouTube, whatever, they always think you are really flexible and you can do everything. Like me, for example, I'm always having a hard time with the early extension because I'm really, really tight in my glutes and I'm tight in my, in my hips. So um, you really have to consider all those big tips where they say it's actually one way how it works. You have to be flexible and um, you have to be in the, you know, in the position to be able to do that actually. But, you know, let me tell you how I think the whole hip action. Um, there were so many videos about the turn or where I spoke about the turn already. So um, I don't really think that the hip is turning because um, this is, you might see it better from here because if you really think the hip is turning, the club will also move to the front and to the outside. And this is what a lot of people do. They really start turning with the hip. So the club travels to the outside, the divot will go to the left and the ball probably as well. Or if the club face is open, it's gonna be a slice. So, you know, you always have to be careful with the turn. But what is the fact? I mean, what really needs to happen in the backswing, if you take away the club, you know, the left shoulder goes down and of course the right side is also, I'm talking again, or the back side for the, for the right handers. The, the right side is going backwards a little bit. So if you, if you're with your, with your thoughts and your foot, you're actually going a little bit backwards towards your heel. And it can also feel like you're actually stretching out your butt, you know, just really going far back. You're breaking through a wall. Ricky Fowler is, for example, a player who does that extremely, you know, he's really getting back or he used to do that a lot to get his butt back. And this is the backswing. You have to get back with your hip. And I mean, this is certainly not a turn again, you know, because if you, if you think turning with the hip, again, the upper body will also go more into an upright position. So don't think that the hip needs to turn because you're also, you see my, my knee, it's spinning out a little bit. It's actually more of a pushing back the butt or let's put it this way, once the shoulder go down, goes down, what does the, the hip and the butt do automatically? They actually make space, right? So it pushes back a little bit. Just do it your, yourself. You can take a club, a club and just rotate your shoulder down. You will automatically go away with your backside and really push back. So now you're on your heel. So, and now this is the issue and also my issue, always been, unfortunately, how is it going to be continued? So if you think about it, you have a, a wall behind you, right? It's just like, a, you can also practice that actually on a wall. Um, just put a fist be between your butt and the wall and you have to touch it. And then you have to have the mindset, you want to have the left butt cheek also go back onto that wall. So. What is happening now, you're keeping and remaining the body angle. And of course the hip is not having this early extension coming forward because if you have a hip ext early extension, what will happen with the club, of course, it needs to get released early. You're mostly hanging back. You're gonna have a fat shot or a thin shot, but the fat shot is more probably more common for that. So really think about the back of your, of your butt, get it back and then get the other side back as well. And then of course you need to straighten that leg as well, but not thinking of jumping up because this is, you know, what I, what I see a lot too, that, that golfers think they really have to jump up right away, but then the whole body goes up. And then of course you have again, an early extension with your hands. So you have to remind, remain your body angle. So get that butt back and then try to get the other side back as well. And then you're actually straightening. Then you keep your low point at, on place and then you're straightening up. Then it's, you know, of course, it's a little bit difficult 
not to turn all the way because then again we are on the right side the low point is traveling to the left so i don't want to make it too complicated so focus on that so what does it mean in the in the in the follow through so tommy fleetwood actually said because i'm listening to great players what they think because it's always a great advice to listen to them he actually pushes back his hip so the club okay let me just grip it properly so the club is getting into position and then from there you can you can take your body and turn it through the ball this is certainly not easy but it's a good thought to get to get to get the hip back to really push it back to push the butt back onto that wall that's a good um, thought as well for me when i'm playing sometimes it's a little bit too complicated to think of the pushback because then i forget the rest a little bit so what i think is i want to remain my body angle so if i'm doing practice swings i really want to feel like i'm still over the ball i'm still covering the ball so if you more upper body focused like i am because i'm much stronger in my upper body than in my legs and in the older days, there was not much footwork uh, practiced and taught, unfortunately. So we were always, you know, watching the club, which is unfortunate. But, you know, so this is my thinking after 36 years playing golf, just really to, rem to remain my body angle, what really also keeps my, my hip further back than if it would extend early, right? So the last thing I want to say about the hip, get it back, but of course, that leg needs to get straightened. Um, you should not stay in that squat because you're finally gonna hit the ground before the ball. So you have to make room by getting up, okay? And also it's a speed subject. So guys, this is a very specific topic. I'm sure everybody's really keen of knowing more about the hip turn. It's not a turn, it's a, you know, it's, it's a going away, making room and just staying back there. Um, when you, I know that Patrick Harrington, for example, he really says you have to, to think you're holding something here and then you are just moving this part and just stay as you are there. This is also a good, good thought, but it's also not super easy. So maybe out of this video, you find, you know, some things, practice on the wall, keeping the upper body remaining, bending down, whatever. Maybe this video could help you. And if you have an issue with your hip, so guys, if you like this content, just put a thumbs up to that video, subscribe to this channel. If you wanna know more about me, just follow me on Instagram. And now I wish you good luck, have fun practicing, and I'll see you soon.